If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I'm a huge Metallica fan and have been since about age 12. Uh, I mean, I bought this guitar because I love Metallica. I even made a video the other day on how to play Metallica on the ukulele. And so when I saw that advertisement the other day from Musician, where they're having Metallica actually teach you their songs themselves, I totally freaked out. And the next day I raced here to the studio, I downloaded the program, and I thought I would make this quick review video and give you my first impressions on the program. Some people might think I can't do an unbiased review just because I have my own guitar lesson website and I do a lot of Metallica videos on my channel, but if you know me, you know I'm not like that. If anything, I'm just excited at the idea, the possibility of learning how to play these songs from the artists themselves. Just thinking of James Hetfield teaching me the details to master a puppets is like a dream come true. So I went to the website, I downloaded the program, I signed up, they have a seven day free trial, which I thought was pretty cool. And I hooked my guitar up through my interface and everything was working just fine. I clicked through some of the menu videos and I saw that they offer lessons and all that, but I wanted to get to those Metallica videos. So I clicked on the Metallica category and it opened up a list of songs and I chose the first one and I noticed there was an introductory video from James Hetfield and that's the whole reason I signed up just to hear what he had to say about playing their song so I clicked on it and I saw this and it stayed that way for about five minutes the video just would not play on my system so I went to the next video click that and the same story now that could easily be a problem on my end I have an older iMac so maybe it's just not updated or optimized for a musician, but uh, I don't know, I'll have to figure that out later. So I was really bummed out because that was the whole reason why I signed up, but I thought, you know what, I'm still gonna try the lessons and uh, see what it's like to actually use the program. So I went to the lessons for the songs and those worked perfectly. I had never used Musician before, but I had students in the past use it, as well as uh, Rocksmith, and there was sort of mixed reviews on it, so I wasn't sure what to expect. But it was a lot of fun. It was like playing Guitar Hero. It was pretty accurate. I played Master of Puppets and I noticed that they got most of the tab right. I would say 99% of it was dead on. But there were some issues, like there weren't any indicators for palm muting. And I think that's really important for especially bands like Metallica. I don't know if there's a setting that I missed or something, but it was not telling me when to palm mute. And even though I know when to palm mute in these songs, I was pretending I was a beginner just learning so that I could get the experience from that point of view. And I tried the song Unforgiven and I was following along really well, but it was saying that I was making little mistakes that I wasn't making. I've been playing the song for decades now and it wasn't really picking up all of my notes. And I thought, you know, if I was just a beginner and the program was telling me that I was messing up when I wasn't, I think that could be really detrimental to my learning process. But overall, it was pretty accurate in picking up what I was doing, just not 100%, which uh, I guess is to be expected. There's always gonna be little glitches here and there. There weren't as many songs as I was hoping for, but uh, I think they're gonna be adding more in the future, which is great. I also noticed that the the video introductions that I wasn't able to play are only on a few of the songs. And then there are some songs that just follow the musician program where it teaches you how to play it. But as far as the video introductions go, even though I wasn't able to watch them yet, they were only available on some of the songs. So my big idea where James Hetfield is sitting there giving you a private lesson, walking you through the entire song, kind of went out the window. But I thought, you know what? Once these videos do work on my system and I'm able to hear James give a few details, I think that's gonna be worth it. While I was learning the songs or kind of going through it, pretending I was learning it again, I noticed a few issues where I was able to fool the AI sometimes. So for Master of Puppets, you know, the crazy downstrokes, I purposely slowed down to see what would happen and it still said that I was getting it 100%. So still a little bit of uh, wiggle room when it comes to accuracy. Uh, but like I said before, that's probably to be expected because of the nature of how it's trying to pick up your guitar sound through the interface. One thing that I didn't expect was that I was getting really dizzy. It was like motion sickness when I was playing it for a long period of time. You know, I grew up in a time when there was the side-scrolling video game, so I thought I'd be used to it. Uh, with Guitar Hero, it's more of a 3D feel and uh, that's actually more comfortable on my eyes than what this program does. It's that side-scrolling element, and as I'm playing, I felt myself getting kind of nauseous. So I actually had to take a break after a little while, and that might not be a problem for people that are used to gaming and uh, they're used to always staring at a screen, but for old school guys like me, I wasn't able to handle it for long periods of time, so I could see that being a problem for some people. I also realized that programs like Musician change the focus of a musician. So for example, you're not focusing on the instrument and the sound you're making anymore. You're more focusing on what's going on with the screen. There's also something I call the Bobby effect. It's because I once had a student named Bobby who came in and he was 
so excited. He was talking about how he's learning guitar through musician. And he was like, man, I'm learning guitar more than ever. I felt kind of mixed emotions when he said that because I was his private teacher. But at the same time, I was excited for him. And I was like, all right, play me something. I want to hear what you're doing. And all of a sudden, he got this blank look on his face because he realized that he couldn't play me anything because he needed the screen in front of him. And so that idea of where your focus is when you're learning is important to me. And when you play and you learn things from a screen, it's one of those things where you can become very dependent on it. So that's a potential issue for some people. Uh, take the screen away. Can you still play what you learned? That's an important question to ask yourself. The idea of gamifying the guitar, that's how I refer to it, uh, is exciting and I think it can get a lot of people into playing the guitar. Just like Guitar Hero did initially, I had a lot of people join guitar lessons back then because they played Guitar Hero and loved it and they wanted to learn the real thing back then. So I see it as a double-edged sword. For some people it could be very beneficial and keep them excited about playing the guitar if you gamify it. Other people, they might not benefit as much and they might be better off going to a private teacher or learning guitar through other means. I really believe that programs like Musician and Rocksmith can be the most beneficial if they're thought of more as a supplemental way of learning guitar. If you're already taking lessons, for example, and you're at home and you're not sure what to work on, this would be the perfect way to fill that gap. These programs are entertaining and very engaging and very informative, actually. But I truly believe that if you take the two-prong approach to it, you're going to get the most benefit. You're going to be able to cover all the bases and anything that one doesn't show you, the other one can. I do the same with jujitsu. Like I'll actually go to the school, roll with people, practice and train. And then when I'm home, I actually subscribe to some online resources too. And I'll look up some moves that maybe I didn't learn in class. And it seems to be the perfect one-two punch. So even though I'm super bummed out that the videos weren't playing on my system, I'd have to say my overall experience is a positive one. And it's something that I think I'll keep doing because it's a lot of fun and it makes guitar into a game, like I said. And that could be fun once in a while if it's not your primary learning source. Even though I wasn't able to get those videos to play, once I do, if I'm able to, um, I'll make sure that I do a follow-up and put what I thought of it in the description of the video or I'll pin it in the comment section. But if you guys have already tried the Metallica section of Musician uh, and you want to let me know what you think of it, please leave it in the comment section. I'd be very interested to read about it. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching my quick review on the new Metallica lesson program that's being offered by Musician. We'll catch you guys at the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.